This coming Monday will mark six months since the launch of the 988 Suicide and Crisis Lifeline. Over the past year, counselors at the Helpline Center have fielded thousands of calls and texts from people all over South Dakota. Perry Groton has a progress report on the Lifeline and what the coming months may hold for the service in tonight's Eye on Kettlelands. Counselors at the Helpline Center in Sioux Falls have answered more than 3,000 calls to the 988 Suicide and Crisis Lifeline since it launched in mid-July. It says to me that people really embraced that easy to remember three-digit phone number of 988 and that it's okay to reach out for help with mental health issues and suicide and substance use. Quality Assurance and Training Manager James Sweezy has been involved with the 988 service from the beginning. Um, I was actually here uh, taking calls the day it launched, officially back in July, um, and you know we were we kind of had like thoughts about how it was going to go maybe or what was going to happen. But yeah, it was kind of like okay, this could happen. We could get this many calls or not. So far, 80% of the contacts to the 988 lifeline have been over the phone. The remaining 20% have been through texts and chats favored by teenagers. And I think it's just because that's how they're comfortable communicating um, with that conversation about what they're struggling with in their life. You know, and they certainly have struggles just like um, adults, and so we want to be there for them. So what we've been getting lately is a lot of um, younger people who are uh, suffering from a lot of like depression, um, interpersonal problems with like boyfriends, girlfriends, breakups, uh, a lot of family problems as well. Calls to the 988 Lifeline have increased monthly, and the Helpline Center expects that trend to continue through January. It's cold and people kind of hibernate in their houses, especially with all the snow we've had um, lately. But I think it's also, you know, people kind of geared themselves up to make it through the holidays, um, and then it's kind of a letdown after that, and they're kind of left all alone. Like many businesses and nonprofits, staffing has been an issue here at the 988 Lifeline. They're looking to hire more counselors, especially during the critical overnight hours. Some of the folks who are struggling with mental health issues can't sleep, and so that's when they call. That's that's when they reach out for help. So we always want to make sure we're here for them. But it's tough to find enough night owls willing to work that overnight shift. Counselors say the work is rewarding because of the impact it has made on so many lives across South Dakota. I think one of the comments from the individual was, thank you for being there to, to listen when nobody else would. And then somebody else um, shared with us, you know, um, it was life changing and life saving, the 988 phone number. The staff hopes more people will contact the 988 Lifeline in the months ahead. And not just people in crisis, but also their family and friends. It's important to have that extensive support system in place to ensure that someone is always available to listen. With Ian Kelloland, I'm Perry Groton. Counselors say one way to make sure the caller feels they're being understood is to respond by simply paraphrasing what they're saying. That also shows the counselors truly care about their well-being. If you're interested in getting a job with the Lifeline, we have a link to the Helpline Center's website. If you or someone you know is having thoughts of suicide, call 988 immediately. SDI